it's story time. Story time with Joe. Let me straighten my beard first though. Passion Unchained here, quick intro. Passion Unchained, I'm here to help you live a life of love. And right now I'm doing a lot of content on how to build a love life that you love. So you can have sex with people you like. I'm gonna give you a story. Um, I was on a hike with a couple of friends. And there's this one guy I just met on that hike and he was cool, he seemed real chill. And the topic came to dating and sex. And for some reason, we were explaining our approaches. And I was like, you know, numbers game, you gotta go out there and introduce yourself to as many girls as possible, see if they're available, and if they are, ask them on a date. You know, just go out there and get it. And the more girls you ask, the more girls that will say yes. And he was like, you know what? My experience, my experience, he didn't talk like that, but we'll just make him talk like that. My experience, you gotta not care about it. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, makes life easier. And I'm like, well, it might make life easier, but you're not going to get it. Or you might get it, but you're not gonna be in control of the process. Um, and it was just, it was interesting to hear somebody say, the way you get girls is to not care about girls. And I've heard this a lot. I've heard this um, advice. And I think it's interesting because I know what they're trying to say, but they're not saying it. They're saying something completely different. They're saying, don't try, right? That's what the words come across as. What it really means is, what they really mean is don't overdo it. Don't need a woman. Don't need a specific woman. What they don't understand, though, is that if you don't try, then you're going to be passive. If you're going to be like, oh, I'll just put my, I'll just like be social and not particularly try to have sex with anybody or to try to have a relationship with anybody or to try to meet somebody for the purpose of getting what I want in my love or sex life and or sex life. Some people don't want love, some people only want sex, some people don't care about sex that much and only want love, love and or sex life, right? So they just go out there and they don't try and then something might come to them, right? It's a passive approach. And in your mind, you're not failing, so it feels better. And it's easy to put yourself around women and not not ask for what you want because you're not going to get rejected because you're not asking for anything. And so it's tempting for people to be like, yeah, just don't try, just go around and meet women and eventually something will happen, which is potentially true. If you're attractive enough, women will show you that they're interested and you'll eventually find something. But unless you're top tier attractive, you're not gonna get much or if you have like a reputation for being an amazing guy in bed, you're not gonna get, you know, girls are telling their friends and everything. If you don't actually ask a girl out, you're going to be at the whims of whatever the world gives you. Uh, and it's probably not gonna give you much unless you're top of the line attractive, in which case you're not watching my videos because you're already getting laid left and right. You have options upon options upon options. If going out there and just winging it and hoping something comes to you is working, you're not watching my videos and you're having a great sex life already. There's a small subset of people that will work for. Even me, look at these fucking muscles. Look how amazing I look. Look, look I'm, I'm, I know three languages. I have a lot of hobbies. I'm really good um, with my camera. Um, I'm a photographer, I'm a business owner. I have a lot going for me. I, I've traveled the world. I've been to seven countries, which here in America is more than almost everybody. And I have experiences from them. And I've lived all around the US. I have a lot going for me, but that doesn't work for me. And it barely works for most people I know. There are some people I know that get some just by putting themselves out there, but that's the exception, not the rule, right? If you wanna get some in your love life, you have to try and by try i mean ask girls out make the first move right 
there's a difference between being passive. And I got a notification of some sort because I'm seeing Bond. I'm, I'm sorry. Super quick aside. I really should have put that on Do Not Disturb. But I'm seeing James Bond today. I'm so fucking excited. I'm a huge Bond fan. I've read five Ian Fleming books, watched all the movies. I'm sorry. Quick aside, tangent over. I'm putting this on Do Not Disturb. Uh, what happened was um, a guy that... Uh, that I'm seeing the movie with, he messaged me about something, about meeting up earlier. So I got notification on my wrist. So sorry about that aside, but fucking excited for the movie. I can't wait. I've been waiting years for this movie. Anyway, um, the, you got to choose between, are you going to be passive and just get whatever comes your way? Or are you going to actually take charge of your sex life? If you're being passive, unsubscribe from my channel. Don't watch my videos because none of it will help you. And I only want my videos going to people who they will actually help. If you're nervous, fine, no worries. If you're nervous about going out there and taking action, you don't feel like you're ready, that's fine. That's okay. I, I offer coaching if you want in the description below. Hit me up. I just redid my website actually um, today. That's what I spent a lot, most of the day on actually. Um, I also do photo shoots to get you the best photos for Tinder. Um, or just watch my content and hopefully my free stuff will be enough to help you out if you don't want coaching. But it's there if you want it. Um, when it comes to either be passive, like choosing to be passive, not like I want to take action, but I'm nervous. That's a solvable problem. If you want to take action, you don't know what to do, or you want to take action, you, you're scared of failure. That's fine. That's great. That means that you're in the right position to start taking action, right? That's awesome. We'll talk about that. But if you decided that you just wanna go out there and not try and not make any moves and not risk rejection and wait till girls come to you, just don't watch my content because you're not an action taker and you're not somebody who's gonna actually build a life that you love. That takes action and upkeep and um, it's worth it, but it's, it's not easy at first at least. It can become easy if you do the right things, but it's not easy at first necessarily. It, Maybe it depends. I mean, there might be some situations where it's easy at first, but it's probably not going to be easy at first. The solution is to go out there, hit on as many girls as humanely possible if you're really serious about your goal, or even just, you know, it doesn't have to be zero to 100. There's gray areas in between as well. Swipe on all the dating apps, buy boosts, get a photo shoot with me or somebody else that you trust that actually has some skill for dating app photos in specific and um, build an awesome profile and get yourself out there. That is how you do it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do a video on why dating is a numbers game and why the only thing that matters really is numbers, um, rather than like, oh, how many, what percentage of girls, I, my mentor really helped me figure this out, um, like hone my thoughts in on this. Like it's not, it doesn't matter what percentage of girls are into you or not. That might matter for your ego. That might matter for your mind of like, if, if you feel for you to feel you're attractive or not compared to other guys, but it really doesn't matter when it comes to getting, getting what you want in your love and sex life. Um, completely different situation. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk, to do this video about this advice that I hear to just not care about girls and that's how you get girls. Well, I mean, like, you can pretend you don't care because that's really what they're saying because if, you, if you're a person who wants to get laid, if you wanna get sex or a relationship or casual flings or whatever you want in the realm of love, sex, and dating or, or, or marriage, if you want that and your solution is to not want it, that doesn't make any sense. That really means you're pretending not to want it. And oh, this is branching into another video. I'm gonna do another video on why being enthusiastic is 100% okay because I've been helping people on Reddit um, just to you know get the word out there. You can't really advertise on Reddit, but I've been helping people on Reddit and um, in hopes that they'll go to my profile and see the link to this channel and my website in my profile. Not actively advertising because Reddit doesn't like that. but. Uh, there's some, another piece of advice that I see out there, which I, I, I don't like at all <laughs> that I'm going to address in my next video. So, um, for now, just remember, don't be passive. Don't pretend you don't want it on the next video. We'll dive deeper into the pretending you don't want it thing. Um, go out there and hit on girls, swipe on dating apps, hit me up if you want to, but don't know how, and you have a lot of fear or, 
um, any of that stuff, hit me up. There's a link in the description below. Wishing you the best and uh, get out there and build a love life that you love.